It's time now for the Troop Tigers Key of LaGrange Saturday morning quarterback show on Eagle 1023, WLAG 1240 AM, 96.9 FM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now live at the showroom of Key of LaGrange, Greg Hicks and Coach Lynn Kendall giving you the inside scoop on Troop Tigers football. Good morning. What a beautiful day it is. Uh, you know, and, and beautiful weekend it's going to turn out to be. Uh, we, uh, I'm Greg Hicks here along with head coach Lynn Kendall. We're going to be talking Troop Tiger football here. Uh, another uh, key region game last night. We went up to Carrollton, and, and, and really when you look at the numbers, uh, you know, it didn't reflect the final score, but we, we beat them in, in, in a lot of the phases of the of football game. Just didn't come out on top last night, Coach. Yeah, we did. And, and uh, you know, it get, it, it's frustrating when you do uh, – win some some of the major stat uh, areas but I, you know the most important stats are the scores and uh, the points and um, you know we uh, spotted them some points and you know uh, made a made a late uh, comeback attempt and uh, I thought we executed a lot of things well there in, in the latter phases of the game um, unfortunately um, you know we're forced to get on try to get on side kicks and uh, you, you don't get those, and then you give them good field position. But defense uh, stood pretty tough uh, most of the time in that phase, and um, you know, and, and then we're forced to go for two every time, and, and, and we executed that pretty well. That last one uh, we didn't get. It was it was close. I couldn't really tell, you know, from from 40 yards away. Um, but it, you know, it looked close, and you know, had we got that, you know, we'd be coming back, and of course, we we're going to kick an onside kick again. You know, at that right. point, but um, I thought uh, a couple of drives there. Defense uh, stood tough. They bounced a uh, field goal kicker out there that that could nail it, and uh, you know he hit one for 40 yards. Mm-hmm. That would have been good for probably 50 yards, and mm-hmm. then uh, he hit a little shorter one. And uh, from a defense standpoint, when you when you can hold a team to a field goal, that's not a not a total loss, especially if you hold them to a long field goal. Right. Um, but. We did some things and uh, put our defense in bad situations. Uh, you know, we, we had some turnovers last night, and um, you can't turn the ball over against anyone. You can't turn the ball over against good teams, especially mm-hmm. uh, without really making it hard on yourself. And right. and, uh, and and it's not it's not a it's these 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 were turnovers. Guys are playing hard, and sometimes those things happen. Mm-hmm. And uh, unfortunately. Uh, they always seem to happen at the worst time. <laughs> so, I guess. Yeah, you, yeah you're right. Uh, yeah, you, if you could just pick when that happens, uh, it would be nice. But, uh, you know, from an effort standpoint and, um, you know, being competitive and, and getting after uh, Carrollton, our guys uh, did a good job. And I think, uh, you know, we just got to clean a couple of things up. And we you got to move on. we got got homecoming coming up. And, yeah. Uh, and now uh, we got to win two games here at the end of the season to uh, have a chance to go to playoffs. Well, I think we can do that. Uh, you know, again, we've talked week after week about you know the, the, the football fan that really the football fan that really pays attention <clears throat> knows what's uh, what the troop team's about, and, and they also know that we're just right on the edge, and and, and it's going to come around to us. Hey, speaking of coming around, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, thank our sponsors, Kia uh, of Lagrange and Chick Fil A on the Parkway for providing each and every Saturday morning the nice Chick Fil A biscuits. You guys come out, test drive a Kia, and uh, test drive some of these Troop Tigers. We'll see you back in just a few minutes. Hurry in today to Key of the Grange because our lot is packed like never before. And with a special KMMG employee and family pricing plan, you can take advantage of 15% below invoice pricing. And let's run the numbers. A 2014 Kia Soul with a list price of 19318 With the employee discount, you can roll in this Soul for only 13995 plus tax, tag, title, and doxy. And it comes with Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. And now through the end of October, for every car sold, Key of the Grange will donate $25 for breast cancer awareness in your name. Stock number. B-0059. Good food. Where do you find it? Because when you spend your hard-earned money, you want good food. So the place you'll find that good food is at Rogers Barbecue on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, where they only serve American-grown catfish, barbecue cooked to perfection, and with all the fixings to make it worth every penny. Rogers Barbecue is locally owned and run with care since 1945. Come eat with us Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, or use our carry-out window. Rogers Barbecue. New Franklin Road, LaGrange. Touchdown! 
Touchdown! Great teams bring together skill, the right equipment, and ongoing support. It's a winning combination. At West Georgia Health in LaGrange, our highly rated teams sport medical expertise, state-of-the-art technology, and comprehensive support services. That's why our heart clinic is leading the way in cardiovascular care and ranked in the top 10% of all U.S. hospitals for medical excellence. West Georgia Health is also accredited by the Commission on Cancer and brings together the latest in diagnostic and treatment protocols. When it comes to keeping you healthy, West Georgia Health is on your side. From quality outcomes and advanced procedures to community education, we're in the game for you. For more information or to review our playbook, visit WGHealth.org. West Georgia Health. So healthy together. Stuck in a state of falling behind, struggling to keep up with your kids, finances, and insurance? Then let State Farm Agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange help you simplify and get to a better state. Because with Mabel Smith Sharp handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time for everything else. More money, too. Because adding State Farm policies could mean earning discounts worth up to 40%. That's money. Mabel Smith Sharp can help you put toward a college savings plan. Call State Farm Agent Mabel Smith Sharp today and get to a better state with State Farm. Discounts may vary state to state. Will, back to the right. I'm going to hand the ball off. We're going to spin inside. Touchdown, Tigers. He would not be denied. Big Jonathan Foster. Big Jonathan Foster comes in from his linebacker position, takes a handoff behind a right tackle. Mitch Mathis and I mean, and, uh, uh, Jason Hernandez. Uh, Jonathan was picked up at the two. He jerked out of the grip, fell into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. You, you know, you, you know, and I, I've told folks, you know, you get in short yard situation, and, and even though you've got a, a, a ton of good tailbacks, uh, Foster just kind of brings that extra beef to him and, and strength factor that if you need a yard at fourth, and it doesn't matter if it's at midfield or if it's, it's, it's fourth down and goal. It seems like Jonathan, whether he's blocking or you're going to give him the football, he's come through for you uh, two or three times this year. Uh, absolutely. Jonathan, uh, of course, he's a bigger back. And like you said, you, you know, he's bringing a, a little more beef. He's he, not just body weight, but his mass is, uh, is, uh, is pretty good. Uh, and, uh, you know, actually on, on that play, he, he had, he was, it was a second effort. He got hit initially and mm -hmm. he was able to uh, go ahead and drive through the tackle and, uh, and score. And uh, then we go back and give it to him again, you know, and let him go ahead and finish that off with the two pointers. But uh, Jonathan's doing a great job there on, uh, inside short yardage type situation especially down in the goal line when everything gets stacked up and we need that little bit bigger back so uh he did a great job he played a great job on defense last oh, yeah, night he, too he was all over the place he was i noticed uh, several plays from the backside. he would actually stunt and and he's with his speed he caught up with the tailback and or yep, quarterback absolutely. he caught up from the backside and um, again, it, it doesn't. The final score doesn't reflect. And and but if you look at the stats and you look at our offensive production, it, we just you know they're early in the game. Um, I believe it was uh, Sheely. I want to say it was Sheely. It, it could have been um, you know, Cameron Russell. I think it was Cameron Russell actually on a little toss sweep. He makes a good move. We're about 15 yards out. He, he's on the one yard line and he lucky reaches to get that extra yard, maybe yeah, get in the end zone. Was, and the ball slips was, out of his hand. That was Vanquez. Vanquez, yeah, yeah. yeah, he, he, and, yeah. I, and I hated for Vanquez because he he, um, he he was just trying to give extra effort. Yes, you know yeah. he was trying to give e extra effort and and go go the extra mile and and you know be a competitor. And, uh, you know, it's real simple logic, uh, not logic, but, but uh, technique is if your wrist goes below your elbow, there's a chance that uh, the ball's going to get away from you. Yeah. And, uh, and, and as soon as he came off the field, he was motioning to me about holding the ball up like this. And, and he, he knew. And, and, you know, he, he's made some great plays for us, and he's trying to play hard. And, you know, unfortunately, it, go, it goes into the end zone, and, and now you're hoping, you know, hey, here's a chance for an O-line, baby, where are you at? Yeah. Here's a chance to fall in and get that touchdown. And uh, we just weren't able to get to it, and, and so we get a touchback. And, uh, you know, that was that was a tough hit on us because mm -hmm. they had scored, but then we just we methodically marched it right down That's their right. throats. And uh, – was get, got down there and a chance to get ready to stick it in yeah. and uh, and tie the game up. So, um, you know, tough break for us. And, but, you know, when you, in, in games, those things are going to happen. And, you know, and you don't want them to happen, but they're going to happen once in a while. And, and you, you just got to be able to try to regroup with that. But uh, once again, you know, the effort was there. Uh, just unfortunate 
situation mm-hmm. for us. Well, you know, you go back over the last several games, and, and we were talking about it last night on the radio, is, you know, when have we fumbled – to, to turn it over and, and, and then the opponent capitalized. Uh, it's, it's been a while. It's and, been a while. And it yeah. seemed like last night it, it all piled in at one time, and we had a couple, three turnovers. And like you said earlier, it came at inopportune times. And yeah. and I think at least twice uh, Carrollton uh, you know, capitalized on those turnovers. And it's kind of hard. It, and, and But, you know, the Tigers continue to come back and, and drive the ball. Obviously, we had over almost 300 yards rushing, I believe, if, if not more. And yeah, we you know, that that's another frustration. You know, we have almost 400 yards of offense, mm-hmm. and uh, you don't walk away with a win. And – like I said, you you got to be careful about stats because yeah. you know that's but, and you know people look and they say, well, you, you guys scored late in the game, so Carrollton let you score. And I said, I'm, I'm sorry, what did you say? No, the Carrollton never no, sub. No. We, it was all uh, number ones against number ones, and the Tigers showed that that tenacity that they've shown all year. They came back, we scored two late touchdowns, and and if we just had it was one of those against Harris County, if we just had another minute or two, it, it could have been different. And uh, a turnover goes our way, and maybe we get the ball in the end zone where we didn't fumble. And and again. You know, I, I said the comment last night on, on the radio if, uh, if a frog had wings. But you know what? Sure. We, we are so close. But, I mean, in that game, and nothing changed uh, on the Carrollton side uh, as far as personnel or what they yeah. were trying to do with the exception that they, they did slow it down a little they bit. They did. We noticed trying, that. Which, which is what you should do mm-hmm. and try to use some clock up. But uh, they didn't change any, any play calling. They, they kept pushing as well. And, yeah. uh, so, uh, and, and, and they know um, – you know, just having conversations with them post game and pre game and during the week and stuff, they knew that uh, uh, they would not be able to uh, try to roll uh, some of the second team guys and that type of thing in on us. Right. And you know, so the game the game was a game down to the end. Yes, it and was as as it should be. And, and and it seems like that's week after week. We uh, I don't think any teams ever walked away. Uh, we, we've commented before the fans that leave early they're going to miss something. Better hang on. Hey, with that, just hang on. We're talking Troop High Tiger football here live at the Kia showroom. You guys come out on this beautiful Saturday morning, brisk fall morning, and and test drive a Kia. We'll be right back. You're listening to Eagle Sports. It's packed like never before. And with a special KMMG employee and family pricing plan, you can take advantage of 15% below invoice pricing. And let's run the numbers. A 2014 Kia Soul with a list price of $19,318. With the employee discount, you can roll in this Soul for only $13,995 plus tax, tag, title, and dock fee. And it comes with Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. And now through the end of October, for every car sold, Kia of LaGrange will donate $25 for breast cancer awareness in your name. Stock number B0059. Getting you back into the game is Emory Southern Orthopedics' goal. The full-service orthopedic medical practice features board-certified surgeons, a prompt care center, a surgical facility, and physical therapy services. The collaborative medical team at Emory Southern Orthopedics combines with leading-edge orthopedic treatment with proven traditional methods to aid you in achieving an active, pain-free lifestyle. Emory Southern Orthopedics, getting you back into your game. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. Good food. Where do you find it? Because when you spend your hard-earned money, you want good food. So the place you'll find that good food is at Rogers Barbecue on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, where they only serve American-grown catfish, barbecue cooked to perfection, and with all the fixings to make it worth every penny. Rogers Barbecue is locally owned and run with care since 1945. Come eat with us Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, or use our carry-out window. Rogers Barbecue, New Franklin Road, LaGrange. Hi, welcome to State Farm. What's up? Hi, I want to switch to State Farm, but my husband has a hard time letting things go. He's stuck in the 90s. Not. Well, if you do switch to State Farm, I can save you 500 bucks. Raise the roof. Switch to State Farm for your auto insurance, and you could save on average 500 bucks. Get to a better state. State Farm. Stuck on savings? Go to the square in LaGrange or call Matt Orr, your State Farm agent. Average household savings based on 2012 National Survey of New Policyholders Who Reported Savings by Switching to State Farm. 
Toss sweep back to the uh, far side again. It's going to be Sheely to the five. He gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. So with 443 left on a little tall sweep round to the left side where we've had a lot of our success tonight, Sheely takes the ball 10 yards in for his Tigers score. Bring in the Trojans, 35, the Tigers, 14. You know, we, we uh, look, you know, I talked about chess match, and, and you know, uh, you get up to the line of scrimmage, and then you see that they have a different uh, uh, defensive set, so you have to audible and what have you. But you guys were strong right, strong right, strong right, and all of a sudden, tall sweet left, and, and you set them up really good. They were key, and they were pinching down, right. and you got some good significant yardage on the on the backside and a little uh, – because, you know, you you'd normally have um, Mitch Mathis and Jason Hernandez, kind of a strong right formation, and you were able to pick up good yards on the backside and, we were. and, it, and work to, to we your were. advantage. Uh, we, we were attacking their uh, – their left, so their weak side, and uh, are running to our left, and uh, we were also getting good blocks out on the perimeter by our receivers as well, mm -hmm. and uh, good solid keeping keeping their uh, keeping the block alive, you know, and, and keeping that defensive player entertained, and, and that helped break some some uh, yardage there for us, and you know Dexter had a good night, over 100 yards rushing and touchdown, and you know had had probably three receptions and. Uh, you know, just a good good night all around. You know, production as a running back. You know, being able to run the ball and um, and catch the ball and um, Will Smith. Um, I think around 136 yards passing last mm -hmm. night and um, um, was over 50 percent completion rate. And yeah, and I, I think most of those it. most of those were not home run balls. They were short out flare passes to Sheely and, and uh, you had uh, a nice little eight yard stab pass to uh, Tremaine Tolbert for a first down and right. a, a lot of just dink and dunk type passes and you know, a couple times we tried to hit the home run, and, and normally I remember when uh, he had to Tobert there, Tobert did a nice job laying out. It was in his hands. It's just one of those things where, you know, you stretch out and he just didn't quite hang on to it, yeah, but he it was there. He usually makes that catch. Yes. And, and, you know, because we've been successful with that, we're, we're now running into folks that are uh, that taking some of that away from us. I mean, I mean so, <laughs> so, you know, you, 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 you you can't force passes. Yeah. Uh, well, you can, and bad things usually happen when you do. <laughs> but um, – so, so if if they're if they're taking away your deep game, deep game, then we're gonna we're gonna hit some things that are up under the mm -hmm. defense and, and take what you give. And it's, you know, for moving chains, it's the same thing. It's all okay, it may not be the home run, but we're still moving the chain. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tremaine had a good night catching the ball and also running after the catch. Yes, he did. You know, good job, real good job. And uh, we, uh, you know, defensively, uh, some of the guys that uh, you know just just kind of pop out there and come to mind. Uh, Jonathan Foster at outside linebacker and uh, Eli Patrick at outside linebacker. You know, and, and Eli got caught um, up in a new rule this year. Um, oh, I, and we I had, had a penalty. And, and um, you know, the, they started a couple of years ago. If your helmet comes off and you're running the ball, they blow it dead okay. for your safety. Right. Okay. And also, if your helmet comes off during a play, you have to come out of the game for one play. Okay. Okay. Uh, this year they also added, uh, if you're a defense player and your helmet comes off, you cannot participate anymore. So, in other words, you can't make the tackle. Right. Okay. Well, Eli gets put in a situation. He comes through, gets penetration off the edge. The helmet comes off. The running back is running at him. And, and you know, instinctively he yes, makes the play. Right. And uh, I don't know um, what you're supposed to do at that situation. I mean – if you just stand there, you're going to get trucked. That's okay? right. Okay, and then if, or lay down. Uh, I, you know, I'd rather. You know, it's it's not a huge penalty, but but I'd rather for him go ahead and make the tackle. I, you know, I, I want him to be safe. But yes. in this situation, um, what he had to do was the best safety option for him. And I agree. I, you know, I just don't know about that. I, I mean, some sometimes we got to put some judgment in that. That's it, right. It can't be an automatic uh, one of those bang bang plays. We were. We I, I understand if a guy is chasing someone down that's the right. field. That's right. He's just. He's unprotected, and somebody can come back and block him. You know. We were talking about premeditated. That happened so fast, there was really no time to think about it. We thought it might have been a horse collar because it looked like he had him kind of on his shoulder pads and tackled him, and then his helmet came off, and it's like he didn't even have time to think about He just <laughs> reacted. So he just reacted. It and, wasn't and, like he was chasing him down, as you said, or he had time to think about right. it. But and, and he reacted like he is supposed to, and he does drill after drill yeah. after drill, and, and that's what he's supposed to do, and it's one of those – quirky rules that we have now uh, for safety, but uh, I don't know. 
Well, so. you know, I was listening to CBS Sports on uh, Eagle Radio coming in early this morning, and they were talking about concussions uh, at the NFL level and what have you, and uh, Jim McMahon and some of these other uh, the, 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 the players experiencing concussions long at, or symptoms of, of concussions long after they've given up the game. And, and I know the game is trying to be uh, made a lot safer and it's not as, as violent as, as a lot of people want it to be uh, or aggressive, but sometimes you wonder if we, we try to do too much on the safety side of things. Hey, but with that thought, we're going to take a short break. You're listening to Troop High Tiger Football this Saturday morning live from the Eagle, I mean the Kia showroom. We'll be right back. Hurry in today to Key of the Grange because our lot is packed like never before. And with a special KMMG employee and family pricing plan, you can take advantage of 15% below invoice pricing. And let's run the numbers. A 2014 Kia Soul with a list price of $19,318. With the employee discount, you can roll in this Soul for only $13,995 plus tax, tag, title, and dock fee. And it comes with Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. And now through the end of October, for every car sold, Key of the Grange will donate $25 for breast cancer awareness in your name. Stock number. B0059. In sports, free agents are free to find a team that offers the best deal. That's why Grange only sells their coverages through independent insurance agents. They're free to find the best team to protect your auto, home, or business. Mallory Agency considers Grange their go-to company for the combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call Mallory Agency at 706-884-3339 or visit their website at www.malloryagency.com. Products not available in all states. Flu season is upon us. And we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Car won't start? Or does your problem sound a little more like that? Come to Stanford Automotive to get your car in tip-top shape quick with a reliable team of automotive specialists. Stanford Automotive, 706-882-0186. 66 Young's Mill Road in LaGrange. Stanford Automotive, 706-882-0186. Actually, we handle all through the line. We're going to go in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Uh, Miss Bonner straight up the middle behind Jason Hernandez and just picks up a, uh, a touchdown four yards out. It'll bring it a little bit more respectable, 35 to 22. I'm sure we'll try to go for two. Uh, and if we're able to get the two, it'll be 35 to 24. All right, welcome out here as we're live at the, out in the showroom. And uh, uh, Saturday morning quarterback is always uh, glad to be here at uh, Kia of LaGrange on Lafayette Parkway. And John uh, uh, is here with me. And, of course, uh, I tell you, y'all always uh, treat us so well when we come here. And, of course, I know you do the same thing for everybody that comes in here, customer service department and everything else, because it's all about selling some great cars. Yeah, we do. We appreciate y'all coming out here. We appreciate our customers, and it, and it shows we, we are the only dealership in the state of Georgia that has two presidential awards for customer satisfaction, which is awesome. But, uh, you know, not only do we take care of you well that way, but we also give you some great deals. Just to give you an idea, here's a couple deals we got going on right now this weekend. Come and see us. you got a brand-new Soul as low as 15.5. we got a new Sportage out here, 19.9, brand-new Optima with Bluetooth as low as 19.5. Y'all come out and see us and you can see the difference and see how easy it is to deal with us and you make a great deal and you feel good when you leave. There you go. It really is. The, all the uh, fine employees here working hard for you every day and, and I, I like to use the word assistant buyer and that's what exactly what they do. They sit down and help you make that purchase and get it done and of course the service department is going to take care of you once you make that purchase and uh, uh, you're going to enjoy the experience for beginning to end and uh, we're going to send it back over to the guys and uh, uh, thank you John for coming and hanging out with us. Thank you. There you go. It is uh, Saturday morning quarterback, Greg. I, I noticed, Coleman, it, you, is this this early start on the No Shave November, or does this have to do with the, uh, the Nutcracker? Yeah, the Nutcracker. I am, I am uh, going to be Drosselmeyer again this year, and uh, I'm, I am preparing by not shaving and coming up with my character, getting, getting, getting ready to be Drosselmeyer. Well, it's very becoming of you. I have a question. <laughs> no, I look ragged is what I look like. <laughs> I, have, I, have, yeah. I have a question, Coleman. Did, yeah. did they make you wear that shirt? Is that a <laughs> okay. Coming from a true Georgia fan, coach. Right. Uh, you, you, know, uh, you know, we were talking about, you know, some of the things on offense, some of the things on defense. And, uh, you know, sometimes 
these guys we don't talk about a lot uh, sometimes. And, uh, you know, I got some coaches, uh, got a lot of coaches, but, um, you know, I, Coach Paul Brewer, um, who's our head basketball coach, also coaches uh, quarterbacks and running backs and has done an outstanding job for us um, with our quarterbacks and running backs. And, uh, you know, you were talking about last night looking at some of the underneath routes, a little more precision type thing, uh, making sure that we understand what we're supposed to do from, from the receiver package. And then, uh, you know, it blends the receivers, but our running backs are also receivers mm -hmm. as well. And, uh, you know, Coach is very knowledgeable, incredibly hard worker, uh, smart, and uh, I hope he didn't hear that. But uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, he is, uh, you know, he's a math guy, and he's a phys ed and math guy oh, also. He's one, you know, he he's, uh, just does a great job with them and um, uh, has a great coaching style that, that the players really like. And uh, uh, Dale Truitt, who is a Troop alumnus, he, you know, he's coaching a – uh, defensive backs for us, and he's mm -hmm. doing a great job. And I'm seeing improvement in the defensive backs uh, game by game. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then Heath Arrington, who is also mm -hmm. an alumnus for us, uh, Heath uh, was coaching uh, tight ends uh, for most of the season over the last couple of weeks. He's also taken on uh, receivers and uh, doing a great job. You know, you mentioned those, you know, worked a lot on, on precision route running, and which is real important. It's not all about speed. That's right, and it's and, and it's it 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 is about hands. But uh, if you can't get to where you're supposed to do and be in the correct spot, it doesn't matter if you can catch it or not because you're not going to be there. That's and right. uh, uh, Heath does a, a great job, and uh, you know he he's, he and is is going to be a great coach. Mm -hmm. He works real hard, as all three of these That's guys right. do. And I I just really appreciate all of their hard work and efforts, uh, as I do all of our coaching staff. I got you, but. Um, well, you know, I want to, I want to, real quickly as we wrap up, I want to talk about, just briefly, give kudos to the ninth grade team and the, uh, the JV team. I've, of course, my son Scott plays on the, on the uh, he's a ninth grader, so he's there on the ninth grade team, and he's having a lot of fun, Coach. I tell you, he's, hey, y'all, yeah, you guys. Well, I'm glad. It's, it's a tough game, and if you're not having fun. That's uh, right. You know, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say, because <laughs> if you're not having fun uh, as a player, uh, it can be it can be miserable, That's but right. it's it's that type of game. It's it's a very certain personality, mm -hmm. and right. the young man you're talking about, uh, it it fits his personality pretty good. <laughs> well, I don't want to just single him out. You know, I'm yeah, really talking but, about you know but, Coach Wynn and, and Coach Truitt's there. They're helping out, and Huddleston's helping out, and Sutherland's helping out, and and they do a good job with those guys, and, and the guys are having fun, and you can just see the maturity game by game of those ninth graders and those JVs, and you getting excited as what you're going to have next year as these right. guys step up to that varsity yeah, level. Yeah, they, they had a big win this. Uh, this Thursday against Shaw High School. That's right. Um, yeah, it was it was, it was a good time to watch, and I just want to say thank you to, to the to the underclassmen and the way you guys keep uh, keep. Uh, well, I appreciate uh, you saying that. And they have they have one more um, sub varsity game, in, in, in it depending. Well, sometimes we play ninth graders and the JV. That's right. So we call it sub varsity, and they're playing Greenville at home on a Thursday. Be okay. Our, Last uh, last game for the season there. All right. Well, speaking of, of, of games coming up, hey guys, uh, this Friday night, Callaway Stadium, the Troop High Tigers take on the Fayette County Tigers. It'll be our homecoming 2014. A lot of activities going on this week. Not only coach, do you have to get ready for a, a, a huge region matchup that that we really uh, we we basically just got to win. Got to win. That, that's bottom line. Yeah. If we don't win it, we don't play uh, in three weeks. That's so. where we're at. Yeah, and so that, and to, to do that, you're also going to have a lot of distractions, potential distractions this week with, with homecoming, and as we know. So you got your challenges cut out for you this week. Oh, yeah. Uh, homecoming is always uh, an interesting week, and uh, there's there's a lot of distractions. And, and as a coach, you try to work through those. And, and I, I know a lot of people just, you know, in the coaching world, you know, that, that type of thing just really gets to them. And, and <laughs> Uh, and I understand that, but at the same time, it's it's part of the the culture. It's part yeah. of the package of yeah. being uh, a high school football coach, and it, it's it's always been that way, That's as right. far as I know. Uh, you know, in my lifetime, so uh, it's something you got to work through and and uh, just be prepared to take care of that. Because some of those guys that uh, are on your football team, that are some of your leaders and stuff, they're also people that are part of homecoming. That's right. And, and uh, you know, so um, Fayette County's coming in town, uh, you know, uh, Friday night, 7.30 kickoff, homecoming. Uh, we need all, all the fans there, all the alumni would like for people to come. It is homecoming. A lot That's of people right. forget that homecoming really is supposed to be about the people that have already graduated 
come back so home. much to people there at that's school. Right. That's right. But uh, it's it's a big game for us, as we always say, and it's a game that you know if we want to have playoff uh, opportunities, we've got to win the game. Uh, you're going to have. Uh, to similar offenses, although our split back veer is a little different than theirs, but mm-hmm. they're also a split back veer type team as well. Okay, and uh, they have a lot of uh, they have some explosive players and, and good athletes, and uh, you know we played them a few times now, so uh, kind of get to know each it's other. Not trying to get kind of right. get to know each other, yep. and we kind of know what to expect to uh, get after it. You got it. Well, listen, you fans, come out Friday night, seven thirty. Callaway Stadium, your Troop Tigers taking on the Fayette County Tigers for homecoming 2014. I'm Greg Hicks along with head coach Lynn Kendall. We'll see you live at the Kia Showroom next Saturday. Go Tigers. Thanks for listening to the Troop Tigers Kia of LaGrange Saturday morning quarterback show on Eagle 1023, WLAG 1240 AM, 96.9 FM, and online at eagle1023.com with Greg Hicks and Troop Tigers coach Lynn Kendall.